All right, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we want to give all praise to our number two. Yahweh, Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in the last days, Great Millstone, the other apostle, Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers out there wishing the most honest word of sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters out there that, that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Uh, it's GMS Mississippi. We got uh, a guest here from GMS Memphis. And brother I not and through the spirit today just can kind of kind of flow got a few a few precepts lined up just touching upon Yahweh Shai okay and who is Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ all right but 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 Jesus Christ is a Greek title right. all right but Yahweh Shai was a Hebrew man right if I were to go to China if I were to go to, to Afghanistan any other country or continent my name will still reside the same but Yahweh Shah's name was changed, man. All right? Go ahead, bro. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. But it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. All right? And Judah goes back to what? Of one of the sons, all right, that, 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 that descended from Jacob. Go ahead. This is back in uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Right. And but Yahweh Shah ultimately came uh, 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 became that that, 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 that top priest, so mm -hmm. to speak. Right? right. And but originally the uh, that priesthood was only given unto the Levites, right. the tribe of Levi. Mm -hmm. But that lineage of the of, of the Savior descended from Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. Or so on and so forth to David, right? Mm -hmm. And then going back into what does it say? Back in uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning That's priesthood. Right. And the subject, the, uh, the subject matter at hand is, is nothing but Yahweh Shah. That's all we're going to talk about because that's a uh, hey, it's a package deal because people want to want to skip over Yahweh Shah or whom the world called Jesus Christ and go straight to the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is not dealing with nobody on no personal level. Make yeah, just to back you up because you brought our King David lineage. This is Matthew 1 and 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David until the Karen away into Babylon are 14 generations, and from the Karen away to Babylon until Mashiach are 14 generations. Going to, like, like you said, it came through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who's a part of that lineage. Man. That's right. Going back to what you brought up, it was the seventh chapter about nothing concerning priesthood. That's why when Yahweh was on the cross, when he passed into the spirit world, that's why that temple went, you know what I'm saying? It failed tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because that pretty much made uh, every, like the ones out of all the 12 tribes of Israel, priests now. Mm -hmm. Beginning with the 144. Beginning with the 144,000, man. Because what did the veil do? That was right before you got into the, um, the what's it called? The holy? The holy. The holy. That's why they read, like the brother said, that's how they read on written. It's all right. You know? Hey, but and, and as the world step upon Yahweh Shah, they override Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is the Lord of hosts. He's the one that's going to come back with the host of the heavens, man, mm -hmm. and start reaping havoc and judgment upon planet Earth. Yeah. Because although people don't acknowledge him now, the scriptures say what? That every eye shall see him. Yeah. So all these people in despair, all these people of an anti Christ spirit of mentality, they're gonna to fall to their knees and be ashamed in that day, man. And most of the, the Israelites are gonna be ashamed, but the heathen, the, the heathen people, these other nations, they don't be, uh, believe from the beginning, from the get go. But it's not important, you know. This Colossians fifteen, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature, and who was that? Yahweh Shah. Okay. For by him were all things created. So for by him were all things created. Right? Mm -hmm. See, see the heavenly father, Yahweh, he spoke the word. Right? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, there are in heaven and there are in earth. So all things we see, touch, feel upon the heavens and upon the earth. Go ahead. Visible and invisible. Both visible and, and invisible. Tangible, non-tangible. Go ahead. Whether they be thrones or dominions yep. or principalities. All powers, all things were created by him and for him. Right, and because because the heavenly Father set up His Son to have complete rulership and dominion upon all realms that He created, man. You know. I, 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 
It's John 14 and 6. You know how Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. Hey, because he's that mediator. Mm -hmm. You can't skip over him and go to, and go directly to whom you call God, man. Right. You got yeah. some more? Uh, that was the point, you know? And because he's our mediator. And he is to, uh, to be worshipped and desired, man. Yeah. He's to be prayed unto, man. And because he made the ultimate sacrifice for the nation of Israel. In this go around, he made the ultimate sacrifice for the elect because the elect were the only ones that were going to believe that he was the son of the heavenly father, that he was going to die, and that he was going to rise again, and ultimately that he was going to come the second time to redeem the nation of Israel, man. Right? Only the most sides elect are the only ones that have that mentality. Got a legal one. Got a legal one. Yeah. Now, I was just going to say, back in like John 10 27, it's saying, my sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. Yeah, that's the point, man. That's right. Yeah, right. Hey, come, because... And what does it say? It says the, uh, that, that they follow the lamb with us wherever he goes. Right, man. And then they say, uh, I think John, the sixth chapter is, no man can pluck them. Or is it the same chapter? No man can pluck them out of my hand. No, no man. Hey, that's right. No man can pluck them out of my hand, for they are thine, and right. thou gavest them unto me. That's right, man. Now, those same men was with you, how it started before the word began. Uh -huh. John 14 and 6. Your house shot said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or it's like, yeah. Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah, giving thanks to the most high and the Father by him. That's right. And because all those the world teaches you Trinity, God, mm -hmm. the Son, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that, that's why on the righteous scheme of things, that's why we say Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah, yeah. in the Holy Spirit. That's right. And because all, all th those three are in unison. Mm -hmm. And they coincide together collectively, man. And that's part of the way. And that's part of the way. Mm -hmm. And because Yahweh Shah is the way. He is the word, man. That's right. You know? That's right. And that's our big brother, man. Yeah. And Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is desiring that day of vengeance, that day of recompense. And it's gonna come, man. You know? And because, and because when we see him crack those clouds, those that are watching and praying are, are gonna know automatically what time it is, man. But the majority of the people in the world are gonna get what? Caught up. And this is Hebrews 1, I'm sorry, 1, the most high, who has sundry times and in divers matters, spake the time past unto the fathers by the prophets have in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. So Yahweh Shah created everything. Right. And there's no new thing under the sun. So as the, the Heavenly Father proclaimed his word by the Holy Prophets in the ancient days, he's proclaiming his word by whom in the current days and time. You right. can't get around that. Right. You can't negate the fact that there are not ministers out there, prophets out there that are proclaiming may be a strange message unto you at the end of the day you have to reconsider that, that, that these very well may be those men of old that's right if you don't even if you exclude yourself from the equation look look around about you and like those are definitely the men of old those are definitely those prophets and lord will i myself may be accounted in that number but the world does not consider man that's, right. that's why yahweh shah hey yahweh shah yahweh shah man yahweh bashim yahweh shah man and when the lord comes back all things all things are going to be finalized. There's going to be no more need for questions, no more need for debate, no more need for scrutiny, no more need for confusion. And because the prophets do what? They say and tell before. Now we tell you and say before that the end is coming, that Yahweh Shah is coming back again. Yahweh Shah is the scripture. It's written in the scriptures. He's a dark skinned individual, gray woolly hair. All right. Because even, even, the, the lie that we see in the Roman Catholic Church or the Christian churches with this uh, 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 blue-eyed, white individual, this Caucasian-appearing individual with long blonde hair, that's not in the Bible. That's right. And, and, and even for that to be blatantly, boom, 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 pounded into your mental, it's proof, it's further proof that it is a lie. Yeah. Because no one goes that hard to present the truth unto you because the truth is typically always evident. Yeah. People typically go very, very hard when they're trying to... Uh, uh, Incline your ear or, or, or your uh, your mind unto a lie. Yeah, yeah. 
And that's what the so-called white man has done through the term of iconoclasm. Right. All different dark images of the uh, of prehistoric times mm -hmm. went through a, a period of uh, iconoclasm, right? Where they were overwritten or, or, or painted over. Yeah. All right. no more of it. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. And also when you look into the term express image, well, actually expressing the Greek, it goes into a uh, facsimile. And then when you find a uh, facsimile, it means the exact copy. And that's why it said, I and my father are one. Right. Right. And when people say, God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. Like he's sitting on the right, like the father is sitting on the right side of himself. Right. And their mentality is God is all seeing, all powerful, but can he do it? Of course he can do that. Yeah, he can. Hey, but, but the scriptures talk about being entangled through the simplicity that is in Yahweh Shah, and the world are entangled in that simplicity, man. Mm -hmm. And through that stumbling block of simplicity, they're going to be taken. That's right. Yes, I'm not saying this, they can't two walk together unless they be agreed, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what makes them one. They are, they are on the same page, you know? That's right. Uh, I think so. I got a little more. And upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. That's right. So he sat right there on the right hand of Yahweh, man, his father. And because Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son of the heavenly father. It's Hebrews 8 and 6. But now had he obtained a more excellent ministry, but how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. He's the mediator of a better covenant. And because the old covenant, we could not keep. It, 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 it was very extraneous. And the Heavenly Father had already created a stony heart within us. We were hard-headed and stiff-necked people. So there was no shape, form, or fashion that we were going to ever be able to keep that covenant, man. Which, which was established upon better promises. It was established upon better promises. And because now what? Pursuant to uh, uh, the book of Jeremiah, I believe I want to say 31st chapter, it goes into how that new covenant, right? The Heavenly Father is going to put his laws in our inward parts. So there's not going to be any question on, should I sleep with this married woman? There's not going to be any question on, should I should I kill my brother based upon a based upon this transgression that he uh, uh, just committed? So on and so forth. Everything's going to be placed in proper proper place. There's not going to be any drive-by shootings. There's not going to be any uh, stray bullets going through windows, shooting nine-year-old, two-year-olds, uh, seven-month-old kids, man. Our lives are no longer going to be held in despair because right now, pursuant to the book of Psalm 23rd chapter, we walk through what? The valley of the shadow of death, you know? But I shall fear no evil for thou with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, right? In the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, the Lord is going to uh, uh, permanently wipe all tears from my eyes. All the stress is going to be gone. Go ahead, bro. But if the first covenant had been faultless, then shall no place have been sought for the second. That's right. For find the fault with them, he said, you know, the, the days come, said the Lord, that how about somebody outside, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Mm -hmm. All right. And so he's going to engraft those two uh, uh, two kingdoms uh, together again, man. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, spiritually what you see right now in the Bible and the Bible is what we have is those two sticks where the northern kingdom mm -hmm. and the southern kingdom are now joined together. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why you have the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, because there was a split. A, a, that occurred, but the Lord is going to make a new covenant to where we're all going to be on one accord again. There's not going to be any schisms, no divisions, mm -hmm. and no vexations between tribe to tribe or kingdom to kingdom, man. Oh, and because Abraham was made what? A, 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 a father of nations, mm -hmm. a father of many nations, man. So when you start reading the terminologies of, of, of this nation and that nation, nation and great multitude, that's talking about the Israelites, man. Right. Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. So all those hey, all those misunderstandings are going to be no more. Go ahead. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. As in the days of old, man. All right. So the kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shah is going to be established, man, by way of the giving of his heavenly father. And because, because he made him who he made him to be, man. That's right. And who he made him to be is very well who he's going to be, man. That's uh, one. By Yahweh God, the house of David, man. This is uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse, verse 5. And from Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. 
And then us is who? The Israelites, man. And because ultimately all, all of Israel shall be saved with a great salvation. All right? But two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, man. And Yahweh is going to come back for a vengeance because, because what? And during the time of his death and his crucifixion, our people said what? Let his blood be upon us and our children. You got to die, man. The Lord's not coming back to save you and redeem you. And your lineage and that mentality was staged in your, gen in your line generation after generation after generation. You offered up the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. So when he comes back, you're going to reap what you had sold during that time. Hey, quick one, bro. For a spirit to now, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation that procure your people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into marvelous light. So, like hey, just like the other was saying, <clears throat> hey, two thirds of our people are now part of this chosen generation. Right. And because because they haven't haven't been called into this marvelous life, right? They still dwell in the realm of, of dust and confusion, man. Right. They still walk around in darkness. They're still groping in the noonday because because they have eyes and they cannot see, and they have ears and they cannot hear. Right. Why is that? Going back onto those curses, man. Right. right? And then going back until until them offering up your house shot. That there, there, there's no shape, form, or fashion, or way possible that they can even uh, come to the Lord, man. That's right. That's and because, right. and because that judgment has been set, uh, sketched in stone, man. And they're gonna reap what they sow. Go ahead, bro. Because it's John seventeen and nine. I pray for them. I pray not for the word, but for them which Thou has given me, for they are dying. That's right. Hey, so the Lord, hey, and and that's the the the, the precept in the cut to John uh, the third uh, the third chapter, sixteen verse, man. Hey, because it says. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but unto them, what, what does it say? Uh, but for them which thou hast given me. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are dying, man. Right. And because because no man can pluck them out of Yahweh Shah's hand. Right. And because the, the, the heavenly father gave that token unto him, man. Uh, hey, this Romans 8 and 27, uh, 29. And he that searches the hearts, knowing what is the mind of the spirit, because he make it intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are the called, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn amongst many brethren. Look at the word uh, firstborn in the Greek is protopikos. It says the firstborn of man or beast of a Mashiach, the firstborn of our creation. Now then just that, meaning firstborn of what? Through your whole shot's death, your link was spiritually awakened to this truth, man. Uh, like you said, uh, um, pretty much how I'm roughly paraphrasing, they're going to follow him with us when we go it because those are the same men that was with you, how shot that created this world. Mm -hmm. That was given to Yahweh shot by the Most High. Yahweh. Because they were with him since the beginning. Yeah, so he, of course he knew them. You know what I'm saying? He'd been with them for ages. And what did he call uh, 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 the disciples? He called them friends. Yeah. 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 And a friendship, a true friendship, a true brotherhood, it never ceases. Yeah. Even your, your, your father's best friend, his son ultimately becomes what? Your best, your best friend. Yeah. And that continues line after line after line, man. It's everlasting. It's, everlasting. it's continual. Mm -hmm. And you can't break the bond and the covenant, the covenant that, uh, 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 that the men of the Lord have with the house shy, man. Uh, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of your house shy? Nobody. So it, tribulation or distress? It can't do it. Or persecution or famine? It, it won't. And because, because the Lord had already said, ye shall surely drink of the cup that I had drank from, right, man. That's right. So us knowing that persecution is not going to be a hindrance. Yeah. Okay? Our favorite, our nakedness? No, but, hey, because because the men of old are already destitute. Yeah. Destitute mean without anything. That's right. The Lord himself was living in caves, man, and, 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 and traveling to and fro with no true place to lay his head. Mm -hmm. Apparel or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So at the end of the day, all these things, we are more than conquerors, man. Right. That's why when Ezra saw those men being crowned and receiving palms in their hand, mm -hmm. a palm is, 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 is what those Romans took as, as a leaf 
or a token of, of victory. Mm. Uh, it says, uh, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature should be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh's shack, our Lord. That's why the scriptures reference if it was possible, if they would be able to deceive the very elect, but it's impossible. And because scriptures, it just backed it up that there's no particular hindrance in, in, in this world, or out of this world, that's going to hinder the, uh, the, the the joint membership or that joint air airness that we have with Yahweh Shai, man. The last one you will close up. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh Ephesians chapter three, verse nine. Okay. And to make all and to and to make all men see what is in it is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world has been hid in the most high. And it was hid, but it's being proclaimed by whom? The heavenly father's prophets, which are the mouthpiece of the heavenly father. Okay. Who created all things by Yahweh Shah Mashiach? And because when Yahweh Shah was here walking upon the earth, you believed him not. And now that he's going into heaven, and now you want to say, Oh Lord Jesus, you want to confess your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as though salvation is very nigh unto you. But the, the, the true prophets are here to tell you, No, that's not the correct way. And because when the Lord comes back, it's not going to be dandelions and candy being held out, man. All right? The Lord's coming back. Hey, his garment is going to be as, as though it, it, it is the appearance. Of being a, a, a dipped in blood, man. Again, he said that all things were created by Yahweh. Hey, Genesis one and one. In the beginning, Allah Hayyim created the heaven and the earth. The powers, man. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down to twenty six. And the Allah Hayyim said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air." And over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeping upon the earth. The point is, the Allah High said, let us, beginning with Yahweh Shah, he said, let us make this based on the, the blueprint the Most High had given Yahweh Shah. And only the spiritual mind can receive that. That's right. In John 15 and 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And then your fruit shall remain that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here? We didn't wake up one day and decide to do this. Right? The scripture said that I have chosen you. But people of the world that, that are not of the same mentality say what? Yeah, I got saved today. Yeah, I chose Jesus. I gave my life unto Jesus. That I, You didn't do nothing, man. Mm -hmm. The Heavenly Father chooses you. You don't choose him. When it's good and ready for you and convenient, mm -hmm. now you got cancer, now your rod then got chopped off, now you don't got shot and you paralyzed, right? Oh, or your uh, oh, oh, mama Karen done died, and, and, and before she died, she wanted me to get saved, mm -hmm. but I waited too late, so let me do it now. People always wait, they're post acting, they wait after bad things happen. That's why I say, in their affliction, they should seek me early yeah. because people wait until bad things occur in their life, and then now they want to convert and become a Christian. Now they want to be baptized. Not even want to confess their sins unto Jesus, mm -hmm. you know. But that's not the way, man. And, and then your first mistake is you crying out unto Jesus. Uh -huh. When you see say that name Jesus, I don't care if you try to imagine a picture, a black image in your head. The roots and the foundation of that doctrine goes back into the so-called white man. Uh -huh. So you're still stuck and warped up in Christian, a uh, plantation Christianity, man. Uh -huh. I got too quick. Go ahead. This is John six and forty-four. No man can come to me. I said, the Father, which shall send me, draw him, and I will, work, I will raise him up at the last day. And because what is a true Christian? A, a true Christian basically originates back to a follow a follower of Yahweh Shai. All right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is uh, John 6 and 69. It states, well, I'm sorry, 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Mashiach, the son of the living father. And that's a good precept the back of what Sky uh, had just recently brought out. Because, because there is no deviation. Yep. There is no other route or route that we could take outside of Yahweh Shah, man. There's no hot routes. No, it's not. There's no back roads. No. There's no more convenient ways. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead. All right. This is the point, Elder. And how shall I answer them? Have not I chosen you twelve? And one of you is a devil. You no. Know? Hey, because at the end of the day, Judas Iscariot was, was, was ultimately ultimate replaced. You know? Hey, but at the end of the day, there is no other way that we can go. Hey, because, because these are the words of life. These are the words of salvation. You know? Y'all brothers have anything else? Hey, 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 so most eyes willing, the edification was there. We're going to end off by giving all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rekha, Kodash. Until next time, we say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.